Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Oxygen Not Included. Uh, okay, I have played on just till the end of the day, uh, or the end of this cycle, so at the end of cycle 19. Um, we're doing okay, we have ourselves seven beds for seven dupes, so we're going to need to start thinking about extending all of that. Uh, we've got ourselves some fresh water storage in that I'm already a little concerned might not be big enough. So we might need to come down here and, and dig out this section um, and add in uh, an extension to this, but we'll leave it for the moment. Uh, we've got our polluted water storage in as well. Uh, nearly finished. We've still got a, a bit of the wall to finish, a little bit of uh, digging and, and all that to uh, clear out. Uh, I've left this space here. Um, so that we can dig through here and just drain this little pocket of polluted water. Uh, up here, I am building uh, a little route around into this um, pocket of fresh water. We'll put in a water pump down here uh, and pump that fresh water straight into our storage down here. Um, I'm probably, if we have a look at our power overlay, there we go. I'm probably just going to take the power straight from this circuit here. Um, and feed it up into the water pump. That seems like the best plan at the moment. Because um, it's only going to be temporary. It won't take too long to, to drain this out. Um, we've got probably, what have we got? 1.8 cycles until our next printable. Uh, we're probably not going to go for another dupe at the moment. Uh, unless there's a, a really good one. Uh, we've replaced all of the outhouses and uh, wash basins uh, in our washroom with plumbed lavatories, which makes this a washroom, which gives us a plus two to our morale instead of plus one. Um, so yeah, that's good. Uh, I've changed the layout down here a little bit. I'm putting in some uh, more doors, a couple more airflow tiles um, to basically drain out the carbon dioxide that's beginning to build up in here. Uh, let that drop down into the um, water dump here. Yeah, that's basically where I am. I am researching the next uh, level of the food tree, so that's agriculture, because that will give us access to hydroponic um, farm tiles, uh, which means we can pump water through them and they don't need to be um, watered every day by a farmer. So that will save us some time. Uh, I think I'm going to put in bristle blossom, uh, which are, I think, these seeds here, blossom seeds. Um, and can I see any lying around anywhere? Uh, I cannot. Uh, no, I can't see any of them. Oh, well. Um, but yes. Oh, there are these things here. There we are, bristle blossoms. So they require light, uh, and they require, um, irrigation. 20 kilograms a cycle, so it's a lot easier to run them through hydroponic, uh, farm tiles than it is to do anything else. Uh, but we will need to put in lights as well. Now I think, do we have lights yet? We do have lights, and that covers a seven tile block, I think. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, three either side, so that's seven tiles. So we could get 14 tiles in across here. Now we'll get 12 in. That'll be alright. I want to leave uh, a two tile gap at either end, partly because I'm fastidious about symmetry quite often. Um, and, and partly because we'll need that for uh, the farm station, which is something else we'll unlock with this bit of research. And that allows us to uh, use uh, fertilizer, which is this stuff here, uh, to turn it into a micronutrient uh, fertilizer, which will help certain plants uh, grow more quickly. That's where we are. That's what we're doing. Uh, I'm probably going to need to spin on for at least another cycle, I would have thought, um, before all of this is done. But let's lay in our plumbing first. Let's have a look. I mean, it's going to be easiest to just come in there, isn't it? So we'll want a liquid bridge to bring us across that uh, polluted water pipe there. Uh, and we'll connect up there. And we'll go straight up, straight across, and then down to there. Because uh, that's where the uh, water pump will 
connect up. Like so. Won't put it in yet. Uh, what I'll also do, I will want to... There we go. Pop a tile in there, now that they've dug that section out. Um, and I will also put in some power lines. I'll literally just follow the same line as our pipe. Down to there. Uh, and I'm going to put a switch in there so we can turn this on and off and save our batteries a little bit. Um, yeah, so, so save our batteries down here a little bit. I, I was indicating that for some reason, and it's, it's this battery that we're connecting to. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I will let them get this building work done then. Um, and I, as I said, I'll probably come back in a cycle and a half, something like that. Probably when the p uh, printing pod is ready to go. Okay, well, we got through the uh, research a lot more quickly than I thought we were going to do. Um, but we have got that bit of research done. So that unlocks us the farm station. Um, so I'm going to put that in just there. Uh, it also gets us the park sign. Uh, which, if we get an area of um, sort of natural growth with plants and things like that, we can set up a, a park sign and uh, it gives them morale as they pass through it. Uh, it's given us the fertilizer synthesizer, uh, which takes in um, polluted water, dirt, and phosphor, uh, phosphorite rather, and produces fertilizer, um, which is good. We don't have a huge amount of phosphorite at the moment. It's uh, this stuff here. Is, is phosphorite. Uh, and as you can see, there isn't a huge amount dotted around. There's bits and pieces here and there. But yeah, not, not a huge amount. So we'll not bother with that for the moment. Yeah, I can't see any huge deposits of it anywhere, unfortunately. Um, but it also gives us a refrigerator to store food in. Oops. And the hydroponic farm tile, which is what we want. Um, and we'll just bring it across like that. Uh, it needs to be plumbed in, and we want fresh water. So we'll just bring the pipes through like that as well. Okay. Still some building work to be getting on with. Uh, I'll probably be spinning on for 1.1 cycles. Okay, so most of our building work is done. We've just dug through here so we can drain this pocket of polluted water... Uh, into this section here. Um, I have almost... Well, we have finished up here. I haven't put in the um, uh, water pump just yet. Um, I've put in an additional oxygen diffuser down here because if we have a look at our breathability, it's not great, let's be honest. Um, it's breathable, but it could be certainly considerably better than it is. Um, we've also got a lot of carbon dioxide building up down here. Um, yeah, which isn't ideal. But we have now got... Oh, nearly. We've got one more um, farm tile to do. There we go. All done. Now, we want to plant blossom seeds. We have five currently. Um, but I'll put them all in like that. And we want to put in, where are we? Ceiling light. So, one there and one there is fine. The power will run up through here and connect up on there. Uh, which also means we're going to need to replace all this with tiles. Right, we have ourselves a printable. Let's have a look. Right, we don't really want people unless they're brilliant. You're narcoleptic, so you're immediately out. So you fall asleep periodically. No, don't want you. Even though you have a tier 3 skill. You have a tier 3 skill. Tidying and building. Ooh. Farmer, rancher, operator. Irritable bowel, not as good. I mean, you're pretty good. I mean, the, the tidying boost basically wipes out that uh, is wiped out by the, the noodle arms thing. A digger and a builder. Ah, oh, you're pretty good. No, 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 not yet. Don't grow too quickly. Don't grow too quickly. It's fine. Okay. 
Right, they're sleeping for the... Uh, or they will be sleeping shortly. What's next? That's nearly drained. That's good. Uh, let's put in the liquid pump there. So we can drain this out and start uh, opening up there. Uh, and we'll also want to come up here. Um, we'll come across this way. To start with, at least. Might as well grab that coal while we're there. Like so. That's a decent enough start. We'll put a doorway in here. And we'll use this as our um, food preparation area and possibly string a mess hall off the back of it. Okay, let's spin on until all that is done. Okay, there we are. Uh, near the end of uh, cycle 22, we've got a bunch of idle uh, um, dupes because there's nothing for them to do at the moment. Uh, we have ourselves uh, six of these hydroponic um, tiles planted up so far. Um, we've got another um, seed out of here. But this is going to be our food preparation area. So let's get ourselves an electric grill in. Uh, and I'm going to pop a refrigerator in right next to it there. Uh, and then we'll have an egg cracker next to it there. We may need another fridge eventually, but that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the microbe musher. Because uh, now we've got the electric grill, we don't really need it. Um, but what I will also do is set the manual generator there to be deconstructed. Um, and I'm going to put in a coal generator and a smart battery in here for this circuit as well. Uh, we do have our uh, liquid pump in. It is happily sucking the water out of that and dumping it into our uh, water storage down here. Uh, as you can see, all through there. That's good. Um, what I will do is actually just square that off so we don't have any um, ledges with drips left on. Uh, we've got all the water out of here and I've closed that up. Yeah, that's basically where we are for the moment. Um... Let's bring the power. Oops, bring the power up and into our stuff here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll get rid of these. Uh, I'll put in a coal generator and a, a smart battery in this spot here, um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, right, all of our building work is done. We've replaced our coal generator and uh, replaced our manual generator and batteries here with a coal generator and smart battery. Uh, I've got this set to uh, start recharging when the battery reaches 30%. Um, and I've got this, or I will set this, to refuel when it drops below 60% of its fuel. Um, and I will set that to a priority 7. That should be the same as this one down here. Yes, it is. Okay. That's good. Right. Our electric grill. We can make fried mushrooms, if we had any mushrooms, which we don't. Uh, gristle berries, if we had any uh, bristle blossoms, which we currently don't, but we are growing them. Uh, we can make pickled meal, if we had uh, meal lice, which we do. And we can make barbecue, if we had meat, which we don't. But I'm going to set all of these to produce forever. So as soon as we get any of that in, in theory, our um, chef here, Forley, should go up and fill all that up. Um, in terms of food, I will store meat in there. I won't store anything else. Just cooked food in there, I think. Right, now I want to start coming across this way. Uh, I'll just put in floor to start with. That will do. I won't worry too much about uh, airflow tiles until we start putting in the rooms that I want to put in up here. Uh, I also want to put in... This is going to be for um, the start of our private rooms. So we, each dupe will have their own room along here. Um, in this area here, uh, I think we should probably put in... Uh, no, we'll make the kitchen slightly larger. Just in case there's any more stuff we want to put in there, which... There probably will be, but we might end up moving the kitchen later anyway, or just putting in a second kitchen. Now, let's 
come out that far. How big is that? That is... Right, let's say 20 tiles. That will do. Uh, we'll need to bring the floor across here. Uh, but this will be our mess hall up here, I think. Okay, so we've got some digging work to do. Uh, we've got uh, a day and a bit until our next printable is due. Uh, we don't currently have anyone able to use the uh, farm station because our uh, farmer, uh, Botus Fleming here, hasn't leveled up enough in farming yet. Uh, let's get rid of that. Thank you very much. Yes, so I will spin on until this little bit of digging and building is done. Oh, we've got ourselves some pickled meal. There we go, so we've got a bunch more uh, calories coming there. In fact, now we will say do not eat uh, meal lice or meat. Um, and in fact, don't eat bristle berries or mushrooms either. So that's going to reduce our overall calorie count available at the moment. But it will mean that they won't eat the raw ingredients before we can get them cooked. Okay, yeah, I'll spin on until this little bit of work is done here then. Okay, there we go. We've just finished off that. We'll uh, deconstruct this set of steps here. That's fine. Okay, so we've got ourselves a, a fairly decent sized room there. Let's have a look. Furniture. We want ourselves a couple of mess tables. We're going to leave a gap between those. How many people have we got? We've got seven. All right. We'll put in eight mess tables. Uh, we'll put in flower pots there and there and there. And then we want to put in our water cooler just there. And hopefully that will be enough to turn that into a, a great hall. Uh, the options here are a mess hall, which gives us a plus three uh, morale bonus. And that's just a fairly basic room. Um, we might be too big for that, but a great hall can be larger. Uh, and it just needs a fancy decor item. Which we might not have, but let's have a look. Let's stick a briar seed in there. Uh, in where are we? This one here will stick one of our joya seeds, uh, and this one can have a briar seed as well. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, still draining water out of there. Uh, oh, we have skills. Let's have a look. Botus has leveled up. Botus, you are getting crop tending as your next skill, so you can get a new hat. And I've suddenly noticed. That Bert, wherever Bert is, where are you, Bert? There's Bert. Bert is called Bert, and that will never do. Okay, Bert, you are now Goadby Marwood. There you go. I hope you enjoy your new name. Right, uh, 0.4 cycles, so at the end of the day we'll get a new um, printable available. But we have some space up here now, so let's start laying in some private rooms, because that will boost their mood a little bit more. We'll start with just one in there. And I'll let them build the um, walls and then we'll come back and have a look at what we're going to do. Okay, well there's the end of the day. We have five of our mess tables in. Um, let's have a look at our room. That does count as a great haul, so we're getting another plus six morale bonus for that, which is lovely. Uh, we have ourselves another printable, but I'll leave that for the moment. Uh, we do, however, have some skills to spend. Goadby Goadby Marwood has leveled up. Let's give them a new researching hat. There we go. Uh, but I'll leave the printable for the moment, because I want to set up these rooms here. So, uh, I've put in additional airflow tiles underneath. Um, yeah, all right, all right. I know. Um, so, very simple. We're just going to put a bed in each room with a flower pot next to it. As we unlock more decorations, we will add to that. Um, but that will do to start with. Okay, uh, I'll spin on to the morning and then we'll see what we've got in terms of a, uh, a printable, shall we? Okay, there's the morning then. Let's see what we've got in terms of printables. Uh, a pufflet, a non-aggressive critter that excrete lumps of slime with each breath. Uh, no. Pufflet eggs could be useful. We can turn those into food. A researcher. Hmm... Or a doctor chef, who is a kitchen menace. I mean, we could get a doctor in. That would be useful. Yeah, let's get a doctor in. Okay, let's do that. So, where are we? Nisbet, you are 
a doctor. You can have a doctor's hat. Uh, and in addition to that, where are you? You're Oh, you're hiding behind that joyous seed. Right, we'll pause up there. Nisbet, you are no longer Nisbet. Newton Poppleford. There we go. You are renamed. Okay, so we'll just get all these set up. Newton will take one of these uh, new cots. Uh, and then we will demolish one of these. Let's have a look. Typically, that's where I want to put the break in. So let's um, deconstruct that flower pot as well. Uh, and then I'll put a barrier in here and set up a new room. Research-wise, what do we want to look at next? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I think decoration to start with. Um, yeah, we'll go up to textile productions first. Okay, we have a flower pot there. We'll just stick a briar seed in there. So that's our first room. That can be Newton's room. Where are you, Newton? Newton, you are assigned. Uh, you can have a buddy bud seed. This space is open, so we'll pop in... Airflow tile, tile, pneumatic door. This is going to become our next room. The second bed is in. This belongs to Toot Balden. So we'll deconstruct that. And Toot Balden, you can have that one. Okay, let's also... Yeah, start coming up here a bit more as well. So that's where we want to go. We'll come this way this time and we'll clear out all of this over to here. That'll give us a little bit of coal uh, and a little bit more copper ore. Uh, and will also give us access to this mealwood here that we can uproot. There we go. Oh, and there is a bristle blossom that we can also uproot. In fact, we don't need to uproot this. We'll just harvest that. Okay. Yeah. We're also going to want to think about getting rid of some of this carbon dioxide that's building up down here. Because this is going to start to be problematic. So, what I will do is I will drop the ladder down a bit further. Uh, and we'll put in... Oops, didn't want to go down that far. But we'll put in an uh, identical little section there. And obviously we'll dig all of that out um, and then we'll put in a carbon skimmer down here um, we'll take the power from here as well I think that's probably easiest yeah we'll just run the power down through here um, and then the pipes We can come off of here. So we need um, an input of clean water. So we can come straight off the back of this um, hydroponic tile here. And feed it in there. And it outputs dirty water. So we can take that out up here. And feed it into the back of this polluted water um, discard line here. Yes, that's what we will do. That's, that's a good plan. I like that plan. Okay. Let's let them get on with what they've got to do then, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so we've managed to dig out this area, and we're just laying in the uh, insulated tiles around the edge. So, we've also completed our research, which has given us carpeted tiles. We can't make them because we don't have uh, uh, fibre at the moment. Oops. Uh, it's also given us drywall which prevents gas and liquid loss in space, which builds uh, an insulating drywall uh, in this area here, um, with various patterns on, and it also adds to decor, uh, which means if we use granite for it, it gives us a plus 10 and a plus 20% uh, decor bonus to our rooms. So that's good to put in um, uh, the bedrooms uh, and the great hall, possibly the latrines as well. Um, just to sort of make things a bit nicer for them. Maybe even in this little um, research room here as well. We'll, we'll start doing that. Uh, not at the moment, but still. Right. We also got 
uh, a bunch of decorative items, which we will come to as we proceed. Um, they literally are just for, for decoration. Um, Stations-wise, we got ourselves a textile loom so we can make clothing items. Yep. Okay. Carbon skimmer. This sucks carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. We need an intake of clean water. We need an output for polluted water. There we go. And we need power. I'm going to put a switch on there because we don't want to have this running all of the time. We want to be able to turn it on and off and control the um, level of carbon dioxide. Uh, we want to be coming down a bit further than this anyway. Um, I want to be very careful of the temperature down here. Because I want to put in some uh, space for farming mushrooms and they need carbon dioxide to grow. So it's easier to put those lower down in your base. Hmm... I mean, this isn't too warm over this side. Maybe coming down this side and putting the farming in underneath the uh, uh, polluted water storage would be okay. Maybe. I would have to open up a tunnel through to allow the carbon dioxide to drop through into this area which would expose all of this oxalite, which means we'd be producing oxygen first. So it'd take a little while to set up if I don't put in air pumps. Which I don't want to do at the moment, because they take a lot of power. No. No, not at the moment. Uh, I could set up an air pump and start pumping carbon dioxide further down into the base, but at the moment, don't really need to. Um, breathability is at 55%. Okay, that's only because we're working down here in the, uh, in the carbon dioxide. Okay. Now, is this set up? It is. We are getting water. You are starting to work. You are starting to suck. Oh, pipe blocked. Why is the pipe blocked? Ah, because we've only just finished putting in the uh, pipes there. Excellent stuff. Right. Everything is now connected. The dirty water comes out of here, into here, and out through there. That works. Good. I haven't mixed up our plumbing lines anywhere. That's a relief. Okay, so that will take some of that out. I've put in an airflow tile here. Because as this sucks out the carbon dioxide, obviously the pressure will decrease, which will pull... Um, uh, the, the carbon dioxide out of our water storage here. Which is okay, because it means more carbon dioxide can drop down into it. Yes, that's good. Right. Next, uh, skills. We've got a skill point. Preston Candover has earned a skill. What are we going to give Preston Candover? Um, let's risk super-duper hard digging. And Preston is the next person who's going to get their own room, I think. So, let's set that up. Uh, I do want to be careful up here. Uh, I didn't want to do that, never mind. Yeah, I do want to be careful up here because we are getting into some slightly um, warmer territory. Uh, yeah, we're pushing into sort of 30 degrees up here now. I might even want to seal this off with some insulated tiles. Um, we don't really have any cooling available at the moment. And using things to cool generally bring their own problems because they tend to generate heat of their own, which is less than ideal. Um, yeah, okay, right. Well, that's in. Let's get ourselves... Uh, a cot and a flower pot. We will then continue up here and dig this section out uh, and dig across to here. Come on. Which will allow us to put in 
a ceiling. Like so. That will give us another room there. We'll take this bed out of here. Um, and turn this into a, a room as well. There we go. Let's have a joyous seat up here. Why not? Because it is warmer and they uh, do better in warmer environments than something like the, the uh, Bluff Briar does. Okay, we've got ourselves some gristle berries. That's a new uh, food. That's made out of the bristle berries just being grilled, basically. So that's another slightly higher tier food for them. Um, let's take off muck root. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay, we've only got two spaces left down here to fill up. That's good. We've got another skill. Who's leveled up? Oh, Toot has leveled up. Uh, you're getting a level three skill there. Edith, what are you going to get? Um, let's give you tinkering, I think. Yeah. Yes. And then research, we want to set up the next bit of research, which is going to be... Where are we? Um, pharmacology and medical equipment. And then we can put ourselves in uh, a little hospital somewhere. Possibly over here, a bit warm over here. We might get away with it. Uh, no. Maybe over here. We'll think about that. But we are going to leave the episode there for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Please, uh, any hints and tips, because I am fast approaching the limit of my knowledge of this game, to be honest. Um, I very rarely get... Well, I mean, I, I can get up to sort of cycle 100 reasonably well, but I don't really progress much in the tech tree because I don't really understand a lot of it. I mean... Yeah, once I get into the higher tier techs, I don't really understand how they work. Uh, we can look into fossil fuels, but we'll need a source of fossil fuels. Uh, we can get into ranching. Uh, that will give us an additional source of food and other resources, maybe, depending on what we ranch. Um... Things like the gas pipes and the liquid pipes. Yeah, I can I can deal with that. All this sort of stuff. Yeah. So we've got the HVAC, which uh, the thermal regulator will give us something to cool gas, but it generates heat. Um, and all sorts of automatic pipe sensors and signal things. Um, yeah. Yeah. I very rapidly sort of lose my ability to understand what's going on once we get further up. Because all this stuff, we need plastics and stuff like that. Which we can make with plastic manufacturing. Which means we need fossil fuels because we need um, to convert... Where are we? Crude oil into petroleum. And then petroleum into plastic. Uh, we also get natural gas. Which we can turn into... Um, electrical power. Yeah, it all gets very complicated. So any um, any advice and help and hints and tips and all of that, gratefully, gratefully received. Uh, please do give us a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more. Uh, please check out the other videos on my channel. Uh, and please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Oxygen Not Included. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.